but all right. So, start off with the first one again. The first one was just straight. Um, you had to answer which word went with which picture. So it was pretty much just vocab. You had to recognize from the picture. So I'm going to give you the correct answers first, real fast. Again, on A, A went with four, B went with three, C went with six. D went with 2, E went with 5, and F went with 1. And then I'll go ahead and number the pictures as well in case you did it the other way. 1 was F, 2 was D, 3 was B, 4 was A, 5 was E, and 6 was C. So again, on here, you're just basically matching them up. This is showing us that we have medians, meaning at that point in the middle is our centroid. That's why it was F. On this one, these two bold lines that they listed off to the side, those two are the ones they are talking about. Those are parallel to each other, parallel lines. Again, parallel lines do not intersect. All right. Now, uh, number three. Uh, this one, we had two lines crossing. They are specifically talking about these two angles. So, AEB, which is this angle up at the top, and CED, which is this angle right here. Oh, wait, I just read that wrong. I read that wrong. Hold on. Sorry. C, E, D. I went to the wrong point. This one and this one, those two are vertical angles. So, and that's all it was, was vertical angles. On um, the next one, it was this one and A, E, C, A, E, C, this one. These two together, they form a straight line. That's a linear pair. This one, we had all three of those lines are altitudes. Altitudes mean at the ortho center. And then, as again, specifically point at point P. And then on the last one, this is an angle bisector because these two are congruent. Therefore, BE is an angle bisector. On uh, number two, this is one of those ones I couldn't really <coughs> put on line because there's so many different ways that you could respond to this. There are six actual answers on this one. It wanted you to list all the possible segments. So we could do A, B. We could also do A, C. We could have done A, D. Those all worked. Then you also had B, C, B, D, and C, D. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are all the different segments. Now, you could have also named them by listing them in the opposite order. But again, it would be the same segments, just named differently. But again, there are six distinct segments that you could talk about. If it asked for all the different ways to name them, then you could do six more and then to be 12. Mm -hmm. On number three, um, name all the possible lines on the given figure. So there are actually two lines here. Everybody see the two lines? Yeah. So the one that was here is not a line from X to Z because it doesn't extend infinitely in the opposite direction. So there's only the horizontal and vertical line here. In order to name them, you have to use two points. So there are three ways you can name the horizontal line. You can name it as uh, UW. You can name it as UX. Or you can name it as XW. So again, all of them are the same line, but you could have named it any one of those ways, or you could reverse the order. All right. Also, for the vertical line, you could have named it as YV. You could have named it as YX. And you could have named it as Y, uh, sorry, not YV again. Um, that was YV. XV is the one we're missing. So again, there are only two lines. But there are three ways that you could name each of those lines. So those are all the possible answers. Again, XZ doesn't work because it's a ray, not a line. Number four, this one had lots of answers. So um, write small and you can write all these down. So we had XZ, we had W. I just went the wrong way. XW, my bad. We had XV. We had XU. 
we had xy, we had vy, we had uh, uw, we had wv, we had yv, we had yx, we had wx, we had vx, and we had ux. And all of those are different rays. Um, there are a couple in there that have been repeated. For example, if I did y, X or Y V, that is the same ray, but named differently using different points. Question. How do you have W V? Yeah. W V. <laughs> oh, did I do that one wrong? Hold on. I copied that off of my sheet here. You know what? I misread it. That was W U. And you do have to go both ways here because one way you're starting from U going through W, the other one you're going backwards. So this should be W U, not W V. Good catch. All right. Uh, number five. Number five. This one was the one that the answer was wrong originally online. The correct answer here is forty-seven. So the majority of people did actually get this one right. Um, you have seventy-two is the overall length of this entire segment. Right, this whole thing is 72. So you have to take these two pieces, add them up, and set them equal to 72. So 72 equals 2x plus 5x. So we're just going to add those together. That's 7x. 3 and negative 8. And that's going to add up to negative 5. Bring the 5 over by adding it. That's 77 equals 7x. Divide by 7 and x is 11. That's not the final answer though. They wanted BC, so you had to plug 11 back in. So 5 times 11 minus 8. So that's 55 minus 8, which is 47. So that was the final answer. On number 6, solve for X. This one gave you two vertical angles. The vertical angles must be congruent, so you can set them equal. 3X plus 10 equals 2X plus 15. Subtract the 2X from this side. Subtract the 10 from the other side, and you're left with 5. And that's it. Your answer there is 5. On number 7, this one, we had vertical angles. Now, the percentage on this one was pretty low. But I think it was mostly looking at some of your answers. I think it was because of what they asked for. So you got to be careful and read the question. Because on this one, they're asking for CAB, which is this angle. The answers that I got, I got a lot of people who gave me X, the value of X. I had a lot of people that gave me the value of one of these two angles, because these two end up being the same thing, but did not actually go all the way and find this other angle. So be very careful. And that happened, it seemed like a couple times on here. Some of the answers that I saw some of you guys put down were answers for like just the X value on some of these questions, or it was for the wrong angle or the wrong segment, depending on which question it was. So on this one, um, make sure you're answering the question that's being asked. So first, set them equal, just like we did on the last problem. So you would have six x minus 125 equals two x plus 39. We could bring the two x over, which would give us four x. We could bring the 125 over to the other side. So if you add that, that's 164, right? Divide by four. And you get 41. Now, that's X. And that's still not the answer. We have to plug it back in. Plug it in here. 2 times 41 plus 39. That's going to give us a total of 121. That's still not the final answer. Again, there's multiple steps to this problem. Now you took the 121 and you have to subtract from 180 in order to find the final answer. So subtract from 180 and you get... 59 and that was our answer here so 
that one was a hard problem because you had three separate things you had to solve for before you actually got to the final answer. That was a lot of work. So again, don't lose track of what you're actually trying to find. On um, number eight, for eight and nine and 10, draw a figure. All right, I don't know if some of you guys just went straight to setting up the equations, but especially on number eight, number eight was the most missed out of eight, nine, and 10. Um, draw yourself a picture. So I'm gonna use some of this blank space at the bottom to put my work for number eight. I'm gonna draw that picture. I got angle C, A, T. A, B is bisecting it. So these are congruent. They give me C, A, T, the whole thing is 30. They tell me C, A, B is 2X plus 10. They want the value of X. So in order to do this, the answer that was most common um, was taking this part and saying it equal to 30. But that's not what you're doing here, right? Because this shouldn't equal 30. This in both of these doubled should equal 30. So you got to double that. So you have all of that, right? Mm -hmm. The entire angle. So 4x plus 20 equals 30. And then you're solving. Subtract the 20. That gives you 10. Divide by 4. And that gives you 2.5. And that's your answer. So just be careful. Again, part of it is making sure you read the question and label a figure correctly. Again, but drawing a figure definitely helps. Nine, this one was much better. Same diagram, but you'll notice they gave us CAT, which is the whole thing, CAB, which is this one, and then find the value of X. Now, I don't know why nine had such better... Um, answers than the last one because essentially it's the same thing there's just actually more algebra in this one so i was surprised number nine was as good as it was because we still had the same concept but now doubling that one again just using the same image here bring four x this way you get four x add the 30 you get 50 divide by four and x is five and that was it so, just be careful. Again, if you need to, draw yourself a diagram. It helps out. You will have some scrap paper. If you need more scrap paper on the exam than what's provided, ask me. I'll get you more scrap paper. Uh, number 10, same image again, exact same image. This time they gave you BAT, which was half the angle, and CAB, which is also half. This one had the highest percent correct out of these three answers. You're actually setting these two just equal because they were the two smaller angles. So for number 10, let me write my work right here in the middle. 5x plus 20 equals 2x plus 50. Bring the 2 over, that's 3x. Bring the 20 over, that's 30. Divide by 3, x is 10. Now, that's not the answer. You got to plug it back in. So plug it back in. Does it matter which one you plug into? No, you plug into either one. So I pick the one that I think is the easier one, which is CAB. Two times 10 plus 50. That's gonna be 20 plus 50 is 70. So together, you gotta double it, 140. And number 11, choose the terms below that can be defined. Again, this was another one, I don't think Everybody read it. It wants to know the ones that can be defined, right? The most common wrong answer that I got was point, line, and plane. And it seemed very consistent that when people got it wrong, they picked those three answers. So be very careful. It doesn't want the undefined terms of geometry. And it was asking which ones can be defined. So. The correct answers here were space can be defined, parallel can be defined, segment can be defined, ray, and then the other three, point, line, and plane, those are your three undefined terms of geometry. Now, 
some books will say space if you look it up on Google and in our book it actually makes a comment that space can be considered an undefined term I don't know why they say that because most books will define space as the set of all points so you just defined it using the word point um, can you show the list for, number for number nine yeah So again, we set them equal, we solved for x, and that was it. Again, this side, that one, we had to double because that was half the angle. So I did 50 divided by 4, which is not 5. What did I write? Why didn't anybody stop me? Yell at me if you see me do something wrong and you know it's wrong. Like that well, I don't know what I did. did. No, I, I'm not. I'm not Mr. Perfect over here. I'm not gonna do everything right. All right. So 50 divided by four. Let's see. One. Carry here. That's 12.5. I don't know what I did in my head, but that was definitely wrong. So 12.5 for number nine. Thank you for stopping me. All right. Uh, number 12, if segment AB has endpoints at this and this, then give the midpoint of AB. Again, in order to find a midpoint, you do an average. Average of the X's, average of the Y's. You should hopefully know your midpoint formula, which is X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. So here, 2 plus 10 divided by 2, negative 1 plus 13 Divide by 2. I'm guessing it's about time to leave. Yes. All right. Let me just put this final answer. 2 plus 10 is 12. Divide by 2 is 6. Negative 1 plus 13 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is also 6. So the coordinate here is at 6, 6. All right. We'll stop there and pick up tomorrow. <laughs>